animals that I would never in a lifetime have a chance to experience. I volunteer for the Los Angeles Golden Retriever Rescue. I foster dogs for them. I've probably fostered maybe 100 animals. Because their eggs are used as food, because of habitat loss, and because turtles die when they accidentally get stuck in fishermen's drift nets. He's obviously very dedicated to the environment. Um, he's quite attractive. Endangered species allows you to conserve its habitat and, and tell people in what way you can save it from actually becoming extinct. Three tanks are with about 14 different animals. The Olive Ridley, the black turtle, and the loggerhead. These are two loggerhead turtles in these tanks. Jeff tells us that some of the turtles are here for rehabilitation after accidentally being captured by fishermen in their nets. Other turtles are kept here long term for local school kids to study. When you first see the turtles in the tank, you almost think of like sort of birds in the water. They sort of seem to glide. You can guarantee that people are going to get exposure to turtles in the tanks. As the water's going down, we want to just keep str okay. scrubbing these walls. I'll start scrubbing. Cleaning tanks every single day can take a lot of time. And even cleaning the turtles can take a lot of time. And then cloth on the head, very good. Now, why do you have to put a cloth on the head? Well, when the animals can't see all the people and the commotion around, they tend to be a little bit more relaxed. So, give me a hand with this. Grab oh. part of that, and we're just going to throw that on in. Just throw it yep. in? One, One two, two, three. three. To maximize their chances of catching turtles, Jeff and his crew cast several nets at one time. To make sure the turtles spend the least possible time in the nets, the nets are checked repeatedly all day and through the night. Exactly, because there's a little bit of lead on the bottom, so as the net hits the water, that the line that has the floats on it will stay at the surface, and the lead line will just gently spread out the net down to the seafloor. I'm going to let you fly solo on this for a second here, right. King. All right. Right there, look. Uh, oh. ah, ah, ah. Wow. That's that forging. First of all, we went offshore, and within 15 minutes of being gone, we saw our first whale. And then 15 minutes after that, we were right next to whales as they were coming to the surface to breathe. The fin whales can swim 20 miles per hour and tend to travel in groups of 3 to 7. They can live to be about 100 years old, and they can get up to 72 feet long. You see anything down there? I haven't seen anything so far. With empty nets, the stress levels creep up. Uh, people get a little bit edgy. I think everybody right now is really excited to see an animal. They haven't seen any wild turtles yet. Maybe there's something underneath, maybe, and uh, but you, you know that you haven't caught anything, and then when you get to the end, you find out you haven't, and you're just completely disappointed. I see the last boy here, and I don't see a turtle. I'm actually trying to catch a turtle. Many hours go into preparing the nets, and mending the nets, and wrapping the nets, and cleaning the nets, and checking the nets, and you just really want all your hard work to pay off. I sure. really want something to happen. I am very impatient, and then I also get disappointed, and I think about how much this says for how bad their population is right now. This is one of their main congregating sites. There's a lot of red algae, and we can't catch anything. After the disappointment of not finding a turtle, we think it's time to do something to make sure we'll see wildlife. You have to keep this always with your, uh, you know, especially with the profundimetro. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd be like, well, what, what was that? And he'd say, you know, the, the, uh, the balance, the balance. It makes you balance the, your uh, membrane. Balance? Oh, okay. You can have uh, embolism easily when you're coming out. Uh, Easily. Uh, easily, yeah. Oh, so I could easily go out and have an embo? No, 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 I could no, easily. No, 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 I hope not. He was great, though. He was so cute. There's got to be a lot more to this than just, you know, you know, with the little check. It's weird being underwater. It's like you're on another planet. Everything is alien. It's amazing. We saw Angela Cortez, and we saw some brittle starfish. I know she is going to do crazy stuff. For some reason, I have faith that she's not going to get killed. Oh, it was great. It was awesome. It was like, uh, it was like an underwater zoo. All of a sudden, we came up on some dolphins. I just remember going, ah, 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 like nobody else could see it. You know, like maybe I could will the boat there. After the fun with dolphins, we do two more net checks and no luck. So Jeff decides to try another location. So we go back, we got to set up stuff for camp, and then we get to eat. Then we get to eat. She's on the way there, so I kept saying, I think I see splashing. Is that just the waves? Or he's shaking and seeing something. I had gotten really disappointed that night before. Jeff, let's just go ahead and drive down. It really did. Woo! 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 We got a turtle! Yeah! <laughs> 
guys. Well, I'm going to get going. I'm, I've got to get the TDR all set up so that we can get this turtle back in the water. But we got to do the measurements. Yes. Yeah, I think the practice you guys had was <laughs> plenty. I'm going to leave it to the four of you. All by ourselves? You guys are pros. You all right. We'll I can do soon. it. Good job. I feel sure. it clamped over. That was Completely perfect. Completely clamped over. You can see over. too. The tag number is seven, niner, four, <laughs> P. I think we're ready to get back into the air. I think so too. Okay. All right. Everybody set? Yep. Good. Let's hit it. Get her on the edge. All right, Dan. Be sure to look straight down, One, Danielle. Two, two, three. Here we go. Woo! Whoa. Fast. That thing took off. Whoa. That was so cool. Boy, that troll just went like crazy. That was, that was really, really amazing. All right, is the recovery several thousand dollars worth of science gear, and if we don't get it back, then we don't get the science, and it's just taxing to lose it. Just prior to us getting it back, it's been on the back of a turtle, and it's been down to the sea floor at 100 feet. It's been back to the surface, back down. So just considering the journey of this thing is pretty amazing. I can't wait to get the TDR back. I kind of think of this as like my turtle while I'm here, so it's, it's very personal. So somewhere out there is our TDR right now. If we put this in the water, by rotating it, we'll be able to locate it. We'll start hearing that, that beeping noise. Totally. I'll know some about what he did the minute he left us. It was just cool, though, too. I mean, my grandfather used to have, like, a, a beachcomber thing, and it was kind of like doing that in the ocean. You'd kind of turn it, and you feel like you're in some submarine movie. You know, we're so close. I bet it's out here somewhere. Just take a look. Can anybody see it? Look offshore. It's right there. All right. It's right. So glad I have back here. Say hello to our little friend. Finding the TDR was, uh, you know, was the culmination of our of what we did here. Let me just give you a crash course on how do we interpret these sorts of dive profiles. Interpreting the data was really cool because it's cool being able to see actually what are its movements, what is it doing, is it how long is it sleeping, how long, how far can it dive? I mean that's. Always oh, just cool to anyone. Like, how far can something go? It was really neat. It's like I got to sort of be there with the turtle in the water. I feel like we've answered every question we went set out to do. We've it caught as many turtles and more that we planned on. This year has just been tremendous. The real bonus for me. King, make sure you get on that front flipper on that next one, okay? Okay. Danielle has such a hunger for for knowledge that she's just a lot of fun to work around. She absorbs everything that you tell her, and you don't have to tell her but one time. It's been amazing. That was really cool. I got to touch him if he went away. I caught a turtle from the wild, you know? I mean, who does that? I think I will always remember when I was in the water and they released the turtle and he was just swimming right at me and he was he was gorgeous. I will 